we basically started this in a little 24 by 24 rundown garage. That was 33 years ago. How's business? Slow. You see, Kevin Harberts has watched business at his metal company fall and fall, down 20% this year. Mid-2012, uh, mid it started, started slowing down, and it's been, uh, been a downward trend ever since probably May. But his Iowa isn't the Iowa the economic numbers illustrate, largely spared by the housing crisis, reaping the benefits of a strong farming sector and unemployment well below the national average. I realize here we're not bad in Iowa, but our customer base is not basically in Iowa. It matters how California looks, it matters how Nevada looks, it matters how Virginia looks. That's right. It is difficult for Mitt Romney to say this economy is in free fall. It is not. Sue Dvorsky heads Iowa's Democratic Party. Unemployment rate here is pretty darn good. 5.2%, one of the lowest in the country. The president won here by 10 percentage points in the last election. My question to you, Sue, why can't he lock it down right now? It's neck and neck. It is, you know, though, we actually feel like we are locking it down. We've been locking it down for two years. I think she's selling you something, to be honest with you. I don't think it's on lockdown. We found plenty of Iowans that aren't convinced by either campaign. Fiscally, I, I just don't see how we can sustain ourselves. I mean, Europe right now, I mean, these big, huge, great empires, countries and all that, that, that they're, they're going bankrupt, and it's going to be us. Orthodontist Chad Moran plans to vote for Romney, but doesn't think his math adds up to erase the deficit. I don't think either side honestly really has the plan for it going ahead. Um, it, 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 it becomes kind of the lesser of two evils. Back at Crichton Metals, Kevin Harvard says he can't plan a 2013 budget and certainly can't hire. Our customers are they're just slow. They're just not ordering. He says, like him, they're frozen, waiting to see who wins the election and whether we fall off the fiscal cliff. I need some reassurance uh, that we're going to take care of our debt problem, that we're going to help small business. He says he'll vote for Romney, but acknowledges there's little the next president can do without Congress, and it pains him. And so this is my dream. I mean, I have everything invested in this company, and so, you know, my name's on the line with the banks, <laughs> and so I got to make it happen. My people are counting on me. The economic numbers in Iowa tell a good story for the president, but plenty of people here worry about the bigger picture, and neither campaign can take this state's six critical electoral votes for granted. Poppy Harlow, CNN, Cedar Falls, Iowa.